Hi, this is Jeff West, and I'd like to give you a presentation about the new features that are available in WebLogic Server 11GR1 Patch Set 3 or version 10.3.4. This presentation will cover features that are available in the current version of WebLogic and may also include forward looking statements about future versions. This does not represent a commitment to deliver future releases on a given time frame, if ever. Features of products that have not been released are always subject to change. Before we dive into the new features, I wanted to give you an overview of Oracle's application servers. WebLogic Server is not only a great enterprise class application server for custom Java applications, Oracle has a lot invested in and writing on WebLogic. WebLogic is a strategic platform for Oracle's Fusion middleware, and all Oracle package applications either support or are in the process of certifying on WebLogic Server. Finally, Fusion Applications, which is the next generation of applications from Oracle, is being built on Fusion middleware 11G and therefore on WebLogic Server. So, as you can see, WebLogic is the platform for almost all of Oracle's higher level application portfolio. This is good in some ways. For example, it means that the level of scrutiny for performance and stability goes up significantly, but it also means the number of test cases we have to run for a WebLogic release is quite large and this can push out the release cycle in some cases. When Oracle acquired Sun, we also acquired Glassfish. With WebLogic and Glassfish, Oracle offers both the number one commercial application server and the best open source application server available today. And both of these products remain strategic for Oracle. Our strategy going forward, together with the Glassfish team, is to provide high levels of compatibility between Glassfish and WebLogic maximize reuse and sharing of code in order to enable WebLogic to benefit from some of the innovation that's been driven by the Glassfish team, and also bring some of the enterprise class features and innovations from WebLogic to Glassfish. WebLogic is number one in terms of market share, and we lead the industry in terms of messaging performance and high availability. WebLogic Server is the best choice for running mission-critical applications, Oracle Fusion middleware, and Oracle Fusion applications. It offers the best integration with Oracle Database and Rack for the highest availability of combined application server and database, and at a very low operations cost. Glassfish is the best open source application server available today and will remain the reference implementation for the Java EE spec. It will be offered in two formats going forward, an open source edition and as Oracle Glassfish server, which includes support from Oracle. In addition, it's certified to interoperate with Fusion Middleware. Now, let's take a look at what's new in WebLogic 11G R1 Patch Set 3. We introduced a lot of great features with the latest release of WebLogic. Let's take a quick look at some of them. First, in terms of development experience, with 10.3.4, we now support a subset of the Java EE6 specification APIs, which includes the reference implementations of JPA 2.0, JAXRS 1.1, and JSF 2.0, which was added in 10.3.3. We have also added a Maven plugin that could be used to integrate WebLogic deployment into the Maven project lifecycle. Finally, we have added a zip distribution that makes it easier to download and use WebLogic in a development environment. A very important announcement was made at Open World in 2010, which is the delivery of the Exologic Elastic Cloud. Exologic represents the engineering of hardware and software, focused on providing the best middleware and Java performance possible. Exologic is engineered to enable you to rapidly deliver and easily scale out private cloud infrastructures to meet enterprise demands. We have made innovations in the WebLogic suite and engineered the software to run on Exologic to achieve extreme Java performance, and these innovations are included in the Exologic Elastic Cloud software. We have also added a new feature to our Rack integration called Active GridLink for Rack. This helps achieve high performance and reliability with WebLogic running on Exologic and connecting to an Oracle Rack data source. This uses runtime connection load balancing between Rack nodes, fast connection failover, and Rack node transaction affinity to provide the best performance of an app server and database possible. These new enhancements in 10.3.4 augment prior Rack integration capabilities that are included in WebLogic. 
WebLogic provides the leading messaging platform with WebLogic JMS, which provides for very high performance, very reliable, and highly available messaging applications. We have provided incremental enhancements in 10.3.4 through Partition Distributed Topics, which is a new configuration option for deploying distributed topics to a WebLogic cluster. With Partition Distributed Topics, messages sent to distributed topics are not forwarded between distributed topic members. We'll cover this in more detail a bit later. We also introduced Active Cache, which represents integration between WebLogic and Coherence Distributed Cache for session state management. We have provided value-added features in this area since the 11G WebLogic release in July 2009. If you are using WebLogic Server for session state management, you can now change to use Coherence for session state management with a simple descriptor change. WebLogic supports differentiated capabilities, including JRocket Virtual Edition, which allows you to run WebLogic on JRocket directly on a hypervisor without an operating system. This provides interesting capabilities in terms of the density of JVMs that you're able to achieve in a virtualized environment. We also offer the Oracle Virtual Assembly Builder, which enables rapid and reliable deployment of multi-tier applications to multiple environments. WebLogic has a breadth of operation tools that support the management of WebLogic environments, including native admin tools, support for WebLogic through the Fusion Middleware Control, and support of WebLogic through the Enterprise Manager Grid Control, and these have been incrementally updated in the latest version. Let's take a closer look at the Java EE6 support included in WebLogic. WebLogic now provides specific Java EE6 API support in response to the requirements of the development community. We introduced JSF 2.0 support with version 10.3.3, and now with 10.3.4, we support JPA 2.0 and JAXRS 1.1 as well. JPA 2.0 uses the reference implementation for the specification, which is Eclipse Link. Eclipse Link is an open source product and Oracle Toplink represents the commercial version of this product bundled with Oracle support. JPA 2.0 adds new mapping capabilities, supports pessimistic and optimistic locking, and has a new criteria API for Java API-based queries. Our Eclipse-based IDE, the Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse, supports JPA 2.0 with a rich feature set. Our JAXRS support is provided through the Jersey reference implementation. This provides RESTful web service support for simple, lightweight, client-server web services using stateless protocols such as HTTP. JAXRS provides a simple programming model with annotations and uses WebXML to delegate requests to the Jersey servlet. In 2010, we also announced a new form of distributing web logic via a zip distribution. This is now available today and downloadable from OTN, the Oracle Technology Network. The zip distribution reduces the download size of WebLogic by over 70%, thereby making it easier to access and easier to use for developers. The zip distribution contains a complete distribution of the WebLogic runtime, so it provides the full set of capabilities available in WebLogic Server. It omits minor tools that we believe are not essential for development usage scenarios, such as the Smart Update tool that's used for patching WebLogic. To use the zip distribution, you download, unzip, and go. It is portable and platform independent. We provide support for automating domain creation upon startup and support the popular platforms for development, not only Windows and Linux, but also OSX systems. Applications developed with the WebLogic zip distribution are fully compatible with standard WebLogic installations and are therefore fully compatible with deployment to WebLogic production environments. Another important addition in WebLogic is integration between WebLogic and Maven. This capability has been delivered in response to strong developer demand. We have added a Maven plugin that enables application deployment operations from Maven for deployment of applications to the WebLogic server environment. Essentially, it is leveraging the Maven Mojo API, WebLogic Deployer APIs, and WebLogic Client support to accomplish this. At a summary level, what it does for you is to enable the deployment of WebLogic Server applications 
directly from Maven projects to WebLogic without requiring intermediate use of the WebLogic admin console, WebLogic deployer command line utilities, or WST. You can also wire this into the Maven lifecycle to deploy applications to WebLogic as part of a Maven lifecycle event, where deployment actions can include deployment, undeployment, redeployment, and starting and stopping of applications. The Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse, or OP, is Oracle's Eclipse-based IDE that has great support for WebLogic. With the latest version, we support Eclipse 3.6 Helios, and we have added support for development using the new Java EE6 features available in WebLogic. We also support building applications that use coherence. We've added incremental descriptor editor changes, but one of the best new features in OP is the WLST scripting tool IDE. WLST is not easy to learn from scratch, but WebLogic offers the ability to record WLST scripts from the admin console and now has a great IDE for creating and editing scripts as well. It has full Jython Python support, has a facet specifically for WST, and allows you to define and reuse WST templates for common administration functions. We have made learning and working with the WebLogic MBean structure much easier with a graphical MBean explorer that allows you to drag MBeans from the MBean tree onto the text editor so that you can navigate to them and manage them. You can also run WST scripts directly from Eclipse as well. There's an integrated documentation and help for WST commands and a WST debugger. Let's take a closer look at partition distributed topics. When you have a partition distributed topic deployed to a cluster, messages published to member topics are not forwarded to other members. When MDBs are deployed to the cluster, each one will create a subscription on the member destination where the MDB is deployed. The result is that each message is delivered to only one MDB in the cluster. This serves as the basis for event-driven messaging and simplifies the configuration for setting up an event-driven architecture. In the case of multiple MDBs within an application, or multiple applications with MDBs that are deployed to a WebLogic cluster, each MDB will have its own subscription to the partition distributed topic. This means that each MDB deployed to a managed server listening to a member topic will get a copy of the messages that are published to that member topic. But again, messages sent to member topics will not be replicated to other members within the cluster. This is the perfect configuration for an event-driven architecture where you want multiple MDBs to receive a copy of a message but not have that message replicated to all MDBs in the cluster. A very interesting new capability to enable the use of open source software in your applications is the class loader analysis tool provided in 10.3.4. You may be familiar with the possibility that libraries included in applications you are deploying to WebLogic can collide with different versions of the same libraries which are included with WebLogic. These kinds of problems can be hard to diagnose and resolve. We do provide a filtering class loader that enables applications to use their own libraries or specify that they prefer to use the libraries embedded in the application itself. However, correctly configuring it can be a challenge and we did not provide tooling for this configuration in the past. The class loader analysis tool is really solving these problems for you. It helps you identify class conflicts and resolve those quickly. The class loader analysis tool enables you to inspect the class loader hierarchy in WebLogic, look at specific classes or resources on a class loader, and analyze class path conflicts. You can then use the tool to generate this corresponding filtering class loader configuration. This enables you to resolve the class conflict which allows you to use the libraries that you want to use in your applications without conflicting with the libraries embedded in WebLogic. So that does it for the overview of the main new features in WebLogic 10.3.4. You can find us online on the Oracle Technology Network, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks.